Hi, I'm Dylan, and this is Behind the Lyrics of Someone Else. Q track. Behind the lyrics. Yeah. Okay, so Someone Else is a pretty straight to the point song. There's no smoke and mirrors. It's very evident what it's about. But how it came about is a completely different thing, and actually something that I've only started writing in this way since um, meeting King Ed. Um, we actually wrote this over text to begin with. But it started out as a very different song. It started out as a Ha ah, Why Don't You Love Me song rather than a Why Don't You Love Me <laughs> Originally the lyrics were um pretty sure it's fucking with my health because I'd follow you till the world comes to an end. Comes to an end. Yeah. Um But as me and Ed that there's some voice notes here. Why don't you want me, darling? Why do you want Anyway, wait, where's the ending part? I follow you till the world comes to an end. So it started off as a much soppier song, and then as me and Ed started writing it, it got progressively more and more aggressive. <laughs> I think I was in a bit of a mood that day. Um, and then Ed said some, sent some stuff back, and then I came into the studio, and we came up with this. Your devil smile. Deep hazel eyes, driving me wild. Stuck on my mind, can't sleep at night since you arrived. It's all pretty straight to the point. It's just, you know, describing the interest. And then it's it's setting the scene, I think, in the verse. And then the pre is overthinking, lucid dreaming, lipstick stains up on the ceiling, out of my league overreaching. Which is basically touching on the fact that, you know, when I think this kind of situation happens, it sends you a bit crazy. And not in a good way. My, my inner psychopath definitely came out for this song. And normally I'm quite chilled, very relaxed, but not on this day. <laughs> and then the chorus, why don't you want me darling? Why don't you want me to yourself? It should be me that you're calling. It should be me and no one else. I'm so obsessed with you darling, pretty sure it's fucking with my health. Because I love you and you love someone else. It's very straight to the point, and I think what was so special about this chorus is that I was brought up on a lot of ACDC, a lot of Guns N' Roses and Aerosmith, and I've always dreamed of that guitar moment on stage. So making this to be such a sort of rocky, slightly aggressive song was really important, and actually made me love the song a whole lot more because of the big guitars that we were putting in. It was very fun recording this song. The second verse is, you're killing me so perfectly, I want to be yours. Except no one really hears the yours, because it's all in backing vocals. The middle eight is, her pretty smile, her ocean eyes, driving you wild, still fantasize that you are mine. Um, which is obviously the pinnacle point of the song, where I'm talking about the person's love interest, the person that they are in love with, who is not me. This song was a bit of a weird one for me because it was the first time that I'd sort of written around something that meant something to me, but I took a lot of artistic license here. Like a lot of this didn't really happen, but I still felt that kind of anger. And so it sort of came out in that way. And I think that that bit can be interpreted in many different ways, which is what I quite like. I like leaving a few things up for interpretation. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you once again for listening into my love life. Um, <laughs> you can listen to someone else on the link in the description. Uh, make sure that you subscribe for more behind the lyrics. Thank you. Good night.